What up everybody, my name is Alwa and I'm the owner of Idiot Over Everything. Um, essentially we do music, film, all that kind of fun stuff. I'm walking around in my house right now because this is a really cool blog. Today I'm gonna tell you guys uh, five really, really easy and cool tips to make your videos better. And this applies to whether you're making music videos, pitch videos, product videos, whatever you're doing. I will tell you right up front, it does apply more to people that use Canon. I shoot on a Canon. I'm actually shooting this on a 70D right now on the 18 to 55 kit lens. But before we get into any of that, let's get some coffee. All right, I made it back uh, and I got my coffee, so thank you very much, that's awesome. Uh, the first thing that I wanna talk about is something called CineStyle. Now, CineStyle is a picture profile for Canon. Now, I wanna make it very simple if you're just getting into filmmaking. The camera that you have automatically tries to find the best color settings and try to make it look as natural as possible, which in most cases is good. But when you take that footage and then you try to apply filters, you try to apply effects to it, it can really break down very fast. So you can go to the website and I'll have the link below, but it's simply uh, CineStyle by Technicolor and I'll show you some side-by-side -side footage and you'll see the difference. So you can see the difference with the, uh, the CineStyle. Now, the second thing we're gonna take a look at today is called a LUT. Now, some of you may or may not know what that is, a LUT stands for a lookup table. Um, I don't know too much about the specifics of what it actually does. There's a bunch of videos that'll explain 100% the math and the details behind it. That's not what I'm gonna do. Think about a LUT like a Snapchat or Instagram filter, right? It's there to give your film or picture a little bit more of an artistic feel, uh, add more color, take other colors away. It's there to make your film a little bit better. Now. I'm gonna caution you, you cannot take bad footage, throw a LUT on there, and everything's gonna be okay. It doesn't work at all like that. The best footage is gonna be the footage that looks great while you're filming, the LUT gets added on, just as a little bonus. Um, there's tons of websites, I'll try to link some below, that will give you free LUTs. I know a lot of people, if you subscribe to a mailing list, they'll send you a bunch of free LUTs. Most of the LUTs that I use, I never paid for. They were all free. Um, you can buy LUTs online for $10, but I would say download a bunch for free um, and see how you like it. So the next thing I wanna talk about is storyline. This is number three in the things you can do to make your video better. Um, the storyline is very important because if you go online and you look at most musician um, video, it's probably just shots of them performing the song in different locations. Now, I have nothing against that. If it works, it works. But there are millions of videos on YouTube and you want your video or your client's video to really stand out. So, for number three, what you can and should do is make sure that you have a storyline in each one of your music videos. And when I say storyline, I don't mean that the artist is talking about, you know, drinking uh, beer and then you have a shot of them drinking beer. That's not, that's not a storyline, that's a reference. A storyline is a full story that happens at the same time throughout the video. So you're gonna have your performance scenes in one part of the video, but you're also gonna have a full storyline and you want that storyline to really tell the main theme of the music video. Um, there's no easy way to go about it. If you're good at it, you can get better at it. If you're not good at it, you can get better at it. Uh, but number three is always, always, if you can, write a complete storyline for the music video. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is camera movement. Now, there's all types of ways to capture movement. There's all types of ways to hold your camera. I'll tell you my style, feel free to use it, pick your own style up, but I want to stress how important learning at least a style or adapting to something um, and using camera movement is very, very key. Now, for me, when I'm shooting an artist and it's a performance scene, I like to work on angles. Now when I say angles, what I'm going to be doing, I'm gonna be moving the camera from here to here, okay? When I do that, I'm also gonna be tilting the camera so it comes at this, uh, at this angle right here. And what it does, and there should be some footage playing right now of me doing it uh, in my kitchen, but what it does is it makes a really nice angle and it kind of draws the focus in um, onto the artist. 
That's my quick piece on camera movement. There are so many different ways that you can hold a camera. That's how I do it. Feel free to use it, try your own style, but definitely remember when you're out there shooting how key that camera movement is. And number five, you guys are probably gonna hate me for this, but the fastest way to make better video is to just go out and shoot video. So if you're watching this, Subscribe first and then get off the computer, get off your phone, go out and shoot. Don't worry about your footage being perfect. Don't worry about the perfect project. Shoot, edit, get it done, and go on to the next one. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, all that, share, uh, whatever it is. All Gordon, 88 over everything. Um, yeah, I think I'm done.